Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and very good day to you all. Uh, today in this video, we we'll continue about example 8.6 uh, from the Chile Mechanical Engineering Design book. Uh, I suggest uh, you have the book beside you and you have the pen and calculator and some papers to do the calculation. Okay. Um, so in this calculation, example, the last example from the book uh, from the chapter 8 from chapter screw okay 2 1 by 4 inch uh, 1018 cold rotted roll steel bars are butt spliced with 2 half half by uh, 4 inch 1018 cold roll splice plates using 4 3 and a half inch 16 unf grade 5 bolts as picture uh, figure 824 okay for a design factor of uh, ND equals to 1.5 estimate the static load F that can be carried if the bolts rose, lose its preload okay for those who are not familiar this is what they call butt splice like this you can google the images uh, you can google this image uh, the the image of butt splice okay the image in figure 824 is here this is the image from figure 824 okay so this is the bolt Okay, this is uh, the box. There are four box. Okay, so we want to know what happened if the uh, static load, if the box are losing its preload. Again, what is a preload? Preload is the stress, is the load clamping load. Actually, is the clamping load you give to the uh, to the box. Okay, this is the box when you clamp tightly using is the maximum force that you can go you can empty you cannot it cannot clamp again it cannot clamp anymore this is to call the preload okay what what happened if, if it if it become loosened for any reason it become loosened okay maybe it become a fatigue maybe maybe it become somebody loosen it okay so this is what we want to uh to know okay uh from table the solution from table A20 minimum strength of uh, minimum strength yield strength is 54 kpsi and the ultimate strength is 64 kpsi are found from the members and from table A9 minimum strength of uh, 85 kpsi and uh, and 92 kpsi ultimate strength for both are found this is what you, you can find in the last uh, last among the last pages in the book okay table A20 is not in chapter 8 it is in the table uh, at the last or more the last pages in the book okay you can find it okay uh, so this table shows the ultimate strength for, of each of the grades okay okay the first solution bearing in box okay uh, F over 2 is transmit by each of the splice place but uh, since the area of the splice place are half of the center bar the stress are uh, associated with the place are uh, the same the solar of the stress associated with the place the force and the areas we use will be, will be those of the center plate okay so first of all why f over 2 okay if you remember the plate itself uh, you can pause this video and go back to the to the figure 824 the picture of 824 figure you can see it is a plate okay half of the plate we have two box the book number one and book number two okay so the force is distributed evenly from uh, for both both so that is why f over 2 okay so half only for each of the splice plate okay uh, so then the area uh, then the bearing in both are like that bearing uh, some in some videos i have explained to you what is bearing uh, i explain again okay i explain what does it mean by bearing okay this is the bolt your bolt your bolt is connected to the plate okay 
the bearing is your this is the collar for the box and this is the the plate this is the this is the location for bearing connected to two connected with each other each other member different member this is the box this is the plate the connection here is the bearing okay uh, so given the equation and you get force equals to 92 kip so that the kip is a american unit okay uh, malaysia we don't use kip not not that much but maybe you are uh, when you are working you are will uh, dealing with us company they use this uh, this unit never uh, never mind okay you know you need now we have the google uh, we have the google we can uh, convert the unit you will know no problem we convert the unit so uh, approximately 1 kip goes to 1000 pound equals to 4200 something newton so more, more or less than that you can google it okay so the bearing in uh, members of active boats are like that, okay. Uh, uh, stress equals to FD. Uh, you can get, you put all the value, you can get 54 KIP. Okay. Bearing in members meaning that, bearing in members, you have, again, you can pause the video, you go back to, Figure 824, you can see uh, the figure 824. Okay, this is this is the box. This is the nut. This is all of these are members. Okay. Okay, and also there is a washer. Washer is a part of the member also. Okay, sure of box or box active, sure of box or box active. Uh, if the box does not extend, it's sure play for four shanks. Okay, sure equals to this equation F equal to four for the uh, power of two eh, over four. You can get five uh, zero point five seven seven. Okay, uh, and then zero point five seven seven is 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 a formula. Uh, uh, come from a formula you can find uh, in this textbook in one of the video they say uh, 0 0.577 is is one condition uh, d equal to something like that uh, is one of the video you find the equation 0 0.577 uh, okay and then this is a formula for the shear and just to remember you have uh, four four box in the picture eight to four. You can pause the video, go back to eight to four video uh, picture of eight to four. You can see there is a four one two three four one two three four box. That is why the shear plane is uh, uh, divided into four. Okay, divided divide into four box. Okay, uh, because the shear is distributed evenly among the four boats. Okay, the shear is because of the it's because of this plate. Okay, this plate. One is moving like this. One is moving like this. Okay, like this. Go go left and right, left and right, left and right. This is shear. Okay. And then the boat threads, uh, if the boat thread extend into a shear plane, okay. Now, what does it mean by boat thread extend into the shear plane? Okay, this is the thread. This is also the thread. Remember, remember the in figure in the question says that uh, the this become loose. You can pause this. Uh, you can pause this video. You go back to, to the uh, question. The, you can see the question says that uh, the boat is loosened its preload. Okay, 
meaning that somehow it is loosened by human loosen it or by fatigue failure or it does not mention but in the end the boat is loosened and when it is loosened meaning that meaning that all this will become separate it will become separate and when it becomes separate some of the portion of the boat uh, instead of no shear uh, some of the region originally no uh, no shear coming into the track okay it not not uh, exposed to the track okay but when it loosen it it hit the track okay let me let me sketch okay let me sketch Supposed to be this is a bolt and this is the nut and the track okay the track happen here okay this is the place there is no track okay suppose like that when it become loosened when it become loosened this portion of the track coming inside here okay this portion of the thread coming inside here. So this is what the question says. The thread. It become hit the thread. So what hit? What it happened? And uh, uh, it, when it become hitting the thread. So again, this question. Uh, this question. Uh, the, the equation, it become 49.7. You can compare whether it be stronger or whether it is uh, losing the power. As long as uh, the result shows that it can sustain the load okay carry on okay so at sharing member okay at, sh at sharing member is for two margin boards is like that uh, 480 you can get uh, the equation as 95.7 three point seven kit so uh, next in the, in the previous video uh, the textbook tells that uh, when you are putting the bolt it must be one and a half diameter this diameter diameter one and a half diameter from the edge you cannot place the bolt so near to the edge okay you cannot place the bolt so near to the edge because it become tearing okay so suppose you put the boat very near to the edge it become tearing like this so uh, what is the force okay let me try 93.5 kip okay okay if you have the textbook you go back to the previous video uh, to, to see what i mean by do not put uh, the boat very near to the edge okay so tensile yielding of the members excess of both excess is this uh 90 you put back all the value that you get okay then you get 90 uh kip okay meaning that uh this is tensile yielding meaning that yielding uh okay as you remember in your first year you have studied material science this is This is elastic value. We what we studied all in the elastic region, meaning that the material does not fail. Okay, and then if you give more force to the material, okay, more load to the material, it may become in the yield region, yielding. When it becomes in the yielding region, the strength become loosened okay it, because it's just not going back to the original uh, place okay imagine this rubber band when you stress the rubber band you you when you stress a rubber band and you uh, loosen your hand your rubber band will go back into its original position so when you stretch even more this original this rubber band does not come back 
to its original position. This is an example of yielding, meaning that although the rubber band can function, but it does not uh, function perfectly as an original one. This is called the tensile yielding member. Your, uh, your, uh, this uh, meaning that your structure can withstand, but it cannot withstand many more load like that. Uh, if beyond this 90 kip, uh, load beyond 90 kip, uh, the, your structure may fail. Okay. So. On the basis of a book here, the limiting value of force is like 49.7 kip, assuming the track extends into a shear plane. However, we poor design to allow tracks to extend into a shear plane. So, assuming a good base design based on book here, the limiting value of 92.5 kip for the member, the bearing size limit to load 54 kip. So, remember, uh, if you find it, you see with your eye the track is uh, uh, already in the shear zone replace it okay replace the member tighten tighten up tighten up everything do the maintenance tighten up uh, tighten up back okay then your uh, structure your your structure your product will be in a uh, good condition hopefully so see you in the next video in the last video on the screw it uh, 12 one shear joints on with eccentric loading thank you very much